Hey gents, you know how sometimes you scroll through Instagram and you see products and you're like, who buys this crap? Well, as a self-proclaimed crash test dummy of menswear, me. Uh, today we're taking a look at Teddy Stratford, which caught my eye because they have good, the fits on the shirts look really good, but then as you dive into the company, you learn that the big uh, gimmick or the, the differentiator with these products is that they actually have a zipper that are disguised as buttons. So I went through and ordered. The shirts are a little over $100, like $125 to $140, depending on the fabric. But they are built with like nice Egyptian cotton, high thread counts, and they also have a stay up collar, as we look at right here. But the big thing with this is there were, uh, you know, it's just, I just want to try it on. So I'm going to try it on, wear it. And I'm actually going to give it a few days. I usually do just like a pure... Wait a minute. All right, I'm confused because it says this is an authentic zip shirt with a zipper behind the placket. But uh, I see no zipper. It's just like a regular dress shirt. So some explaining to do. That makes more sense. So these top two buttons are real buttons, but the point with having a really fitted shirt and the thing that this is solving is that they don't you don't want pooling on the shirts if you wear a really tight shirt you'll see like puckering and pooling on here but these zippers which they feel pretty nice are these why what are these ykk zippers you zip the shirt below so it still has buttons so they're disguised in the zipper and so far the fabric feels like a very nice shirt. The fabric feels like some of my more premium shirts, um, which helps justify the cost. So this is, a, it says a size three. Let's get this thing on and then we'll talk a little bit more about it. And as I've talked about, as a tall guy, slim fitting shirts have always been one of my biggest challenges because I'm tall and slim. And so that's definitely why this caught my eye is I want good fitting shirts. Look at that. Okay. There's a bottom real button here, then you zip, and then you have this button, which then helps to hide the zipper behind the placket. Uh, you could go like this, but then right here, that's pretty nice. That's a nice button stand. It's not too high, not too low. Uh, it's not as slim as I guess I would, you know, if I get a custom shirt, usually they're a little bit slimmer, but Interesting. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Okay. So let's wear this a little bit and see what it's like in actual daily use. Maybe I need to size down. The neck's a little bit. Maybe I gotta size down. Alright, so here's the deal. So the shirt has a decent fit. Like I'd be happy with this if it were a $50 shirt, but it's a $150 shirt. So you can see in the sleeves, the sleeves are actually perfect. They end right where I want them. The torso is good. It'll be good for tucking in. It's a little, like I could probably lose a half inch on each side or a little bit more to really slim this down. But then also on the neck, there's probably a good, um, you know, almost inch, maybe three quarters of an inch. It's a little too big. So this is the size three, which they list on their site as a medium large. I mostly ordered this because of the sleeve length. And so I already did the exchange process. It's very easy online. I just said, I want a size two and they have free shipping both ways. And I also forgot that these are all like handmade in New York. So that's also why you're seeing a premium price. So I'm very happy with the fabric, the construction, very solid, like collar feels great. The YKK zippers are really nice. The buttons, I don't believe are mother of pearl, but you know, they're fake <laughs> on here. Uh, and I like that they have the two button design so you can button it however you'd like if you wear it a little bit lower uh, like this, more casual. Uh, and they also have dress styles. So I am gonna come back in a few days and see how the, the fit is different. But overall, I'm liking this so far. And then I'll wear this until uh, I can get a better feel for like, you know, is it annoying to have the zipper? Do people notice it? Uh, you know, it's pretty well hidden in here. Uh, you know, if I looked at this dress shirt, I would not say that's a zipper. So that's the current update. I'm gonna swap this out and then we'll come back.
You know, there was a saying that I really liked that said, you can tell a lot about the quality of a product based on how easy it is to return or exchange it. And so far, I submitted the exchange. I already have a prepaid return label. I'm actually gonna take this to the post office right now, and I will report back on the full process um, once this thing comes back. All right, took about a week. All I did was send it in and then it automatically shipped out the new one. So this is now the size two, which is just the medium. And it has a little serial number on it. So let's get this on. Because so I, I love the way the fabric feels. I love the way that it looks. And so I'm hoping this one works out. All right, so the experience, the returns, the ordering, everything, great, fabric, excellent. From what I can see now, it's, it, you know, no one's gonna know you have this zipper in here, especially if you do the top and the bottom button. I like the way that it fits into it. And so, uh, let me wash this, wear it a little bit, and then I'll check back in. Oh, and I just noticed that all of the buttons say luck and courage. That's so cute. I still haven't figured out if it's if I should zip it first and then do the buttons, but it all works. So this is washed twice and steamed. Not, you know, the wrinkle, that's what, when you get high quality cotton shirts, the washer isn't really a problem, especially keep it on cooler water. I didn't really steam down here, I'm gonna tuck this in anyway, but it looks pretty good. Let's wrap it up. All right, so shockingly, one of the products that I see on Instagram comes through in a big way. And yes, it is gimmicky to have the zipper on the shirt. Although it does solve a problem, I've had myself, when shirts are too slim, you get pulling on the buttons and it doesn't look great. However, what takes this the next step into being a great overall product is that they went with long staple Egyptian cotton, high quality shirts. If I put this up against another shirt that is $100 or $125 right out of my closet, I would choose this shirt because I can tell that it's constructed really well. Yes, they say it's handmade, but they use great raw materials and they built an incredible shirt. It just so happens to have a zipper in lieu of some buttons, which helps, you know, makes it a little bit easier to zip up and everything, but it doesn't even cause an issue when you wash it, which I did twice, or, you know, the steam was really easy. They do say to iron, you, have, you know, you have to iron on one side, be a little bit careful with the zipper when ironing and pressing, you can't do a full press at a dry cleaner. But I'm here to tell you, with no sponsorship or bias or anything else, I spend my own money on this, that the shirt is the real deal. And what I love is you can always tell about a product or a company's quality by how easy it is to cancel it if it's a subscription or to return it if it's a product. And the fact that I was able to get this item, try it on, exchange it very, very easily with free shipping both ways is very telling of the company as well. And I'm very impressed. So that is Teddy Stratford. Happy to answer any questions that you might have. As always, I say I'm the crash test dummy of menswear, and I'm happy to answer the questions you might have about the, the, the shirt. I got it right here. And I also will say that I always try and see, you know, if I wear a certain shirt or a certain fit, do I get more compliments than, than usual? And this shirt garnered some nice compliments. People really liked it. I think it's, it's a good design, but it's just, it, you know, it fits me really well and everything else. And so if you're looking for something like this, go ahead and jump in. And so I'll put links below so you can check out Teddy Stratford. If you have any other goofy Instagram stuff, as always, uh, you can catch me over there and I'll try and pick those types of things up. And I'd love to find more products that you shouldn't buy. Remember the tuck trunks? I said don't buy those. Uh, there's been a few others on the channel, but uh, now I'm just rambling. Have you answered any questions? I'll see you down in the comments and over on Instagram and Twitter. Until next time, gents, this is The Cavalier. Mm -hmm.